In this video, I'm going to be comparing Trello to Todoist. I'm going to be covering what I like about Trello and what I like about Todoist, what I don't like about the both of these different softwares. Then I'm going to talk a little bit about the pricing so you can make an educated decision on if you actually want to purchase one of these tools or use the free plans that both of them offer. So without wasting any time, let's just get straight into the video. I'm going to start off with Trello and because I've used Trello for quite some time in my YouTube channel, it's how I used to keep track of everything in my YouTube channel, but I have recently moved over to ClickUp. Not because Trello failed me or anything like that. It is fully featured and I did get great use out of it for about a year, but I think it was just time to move to something that had a little bit more features and that's the reason why I switched, but that's getting out of the scope of this video. So what I like about Trello is that it's very simple to use. So you just have to set up your different sections over here so you got your to do you're doing you're done you just put in your task so record video enter it in once you've completed that or you can put it into doing while you're busy recording the video and then you put it into done and you've done the video and then you have all your different cards that you have underneath that and you can see everything at a glance and this is the view that you get on trello now when i move over to todoist you have things like your inbox where you can see everything that you need to get done. Once you've done a project, you can click on this little circle and you've done it and then it gets disappeared. And then you can see what you need to do today and you can add a task. So I'll just add that one again or I'll add edit video and then you can set a for today and you want to put it in inbox, just add the task. And then you do get the boards view in um, Todoist. If you click on this YouTube one that I created and then you click on try boards over here, this is what they've set up for me. And this is the same thing like on Trello. You can add your different sections. So I can just write a section in review, for example, and then you can drag it into there and then you can do another one complete. Now, when it comes to Todoist, Todoist is very bare bones simple. So it's not going to give you all these complicated features that you need to get familiar with. It is very simple to use and it does have some features once you actually study it a bit and get into all the things that you can do with Todoist. You can do quite a lot with it, um, but it is very simple at a glance. And so is Trello, which is nice. So if you're a beginner, when it comes to task management and project management, if you want to manage your personal life, you can use any one of these tools. They're both going to serve you well. I'm not going to give you my opinion on which one I think is the better one because I think they're both equally good. But going over back to Todoist, that's all there is to it when it comes to the boards. And the nice thing you can do with Todoist is if I go and I go to today and I put a task and then I type create thumbnail so i'm just putting in random things that i normally do within my youtube channel you can see the different things you can do here at the top i mean at the right hand corner you can add labels you can set the priority and you can add a reminder so you should get an email reminder of when these tasks need to be done and one thing that todoist does because i have used it before and i did get some good use out of it before i actually went to trello so I first started off with Todoist, then I moved to Trello, then I went to ClickUp. So that's the progression of my task management or project management journey. So you'll get an email notification when these tasks need to be done. And those are pretty self-explanatory and I'll just add that task. And if I click here where it says today, you can do things like set it to OK, this only needs to get done later this week or this weekend. So, and then it moves to Saturday. You can see yeah, where you want it to go. So I'll put it in my inbox. So one cool feature that Todoist has that Trello doesn't necessarily have is if I go onto a task and I go to schedule, then I type every Wednesday, you can see a pop-up appear that says repeats every Wednesday. You can also type in recurring due dates like every day, every two weeks and every last Friday of the month. So that's pretty cool if you want to set things up in a nice quick way that's going to allow you to make recurring tasks and you just hit enter and then you can see a little two arrows next to it appeared. And then I think I typed every Wednesday, that task is going to appear in your inbox for you to do. So that just makes things nice and passive when it comes to setting up your different tasks for the day, for the week, for the month, 
and everything like that let's move over back to Trello for a bit and talk a little bit more about what you can do with Trello and why I do like Trello so you get your different boards and you put in your different tasks into the cards then you move them around that's basically how Trello works so if I click on my record a video task you can do cool things like add a description you can add members so if you're working with a team you can create labels so just different colors for these different tasks so I'll make it red because I haven't done that get rid of the green close it out and make that red you can add a different you can add a checklist to your task so if you go into each task and then you click on it you're going to get all this menu and this gives an overview of that specific task and all the information regarding this specific task is located right here for you to see you can add attachments so in my case if i'm recording a video and i want to reference another video for within my video i can just put an attachment and i can paste the link there i can upload from my computer i can upload from google drive dropbox box onedrive so that's a nice feature i do make use of that a lot as well as power ups and add a button and things like that it goes on you can make a template and things like that so this is more so Trello definitely does have more features compared to Todoist but if you're a beginner when it comes to task management project management then you might want to start off with Todoist get familiar with Todoist first and then you can move over to something like Trello later down the line when you are more in the workflow nicely and you've got a good workflow down then you can look into getting something that's a little bit more advanced with a little bit more features to really maximize your task management and project management. Now, if you're like me and you love dark theme, I know dark theme is a nice feature to have when you're working on a software like this or a program because you might be doing it late at night and you don't necessarily want to be blinded by your computer screen at night when you're trying to set up your different tasks for the week or something like that. So you just click on your profile icon at the top right hand corner then you select theme and you can choose all these different themes this is what it looks normally so you can see um, i need to save that so if i update that and then close this out this is what it's going to look like if i go to the boards you can see it's kind of harsh onto the eyes if you're doing this at night so you can just go into theme and then change it to dark theme which is super great and then you can exit out of that and then work nicely at night without it being too harsh on your eyes so that's a plus for me now let's talk a little bit about the pricing of each of these tools and which one is better with regards to pricing so we'll start off with the pricing of trello and you can see they have a whole bunch of plans the free plan is what i recommend you get started with that is going to get you started and that is all you need that's all i ever used when it comes to trello but if you're working with teams then you might want to upgrade to the five dollar per month plan and then premium what you get so for the five you get four teams that need to manage more work and scale collaborations and you can scroll down and read all about it so on the free plan you get unlimited cards unlimited members you can see you get unlimited quite a few things but you can see that you only get 250 automated command runs per month so if that's something you need in your team then you might need to go to the five dollar per month plan where you get a thousand automated commands but you do get two-factor authentication which is a nice plus because safety on the internet is super important but you do get quite a few things that are unlimited on the free plan and then obviously with the five dollar per month plan you're just going to get a little bit more space and a little bit more features compared to the free plan moving over to the premium plan this is best for teams up to a hundred they need to track multiple projects and visualize work in a variety of ways and they do have a free trial for that premium plan i believe this one doesn't have a free trial because it says upgrade now but you get a dashboard view timeline view and these are all in beta in a workspace table view so you might want to try that out for yourself if you have a large team and a 10 dollar price tag per month is a fair competitive price I've looked at lots of these task management, project management softwares, and they all come in at around nine to ten dollars per month for their premium plan. And their enterprise plan, which is their best plan, is also nice and cheap compared to the other ones. But this is for organizations, so that's all up to you if you're running that type of business. Moving over to Todoist, they keep things nice and simple with a free plan at zero pro plan at three dollars per month because it's a nice and simple tool 
They don't have many features and three dollars per month i think anyone can afford and that compared to the standard plan of five you're saving two dollars there and then they just have the business plan after that for five dollars per month so to do definitely has cheaper prices but the software isn't as advanced so just keep that in mind when you're comparing the pricing of trello and todoist so with the three dollar per month plan on todoist you get 300 active projects which is a lot 225 collaborations per project 100 megabyte file uploads so that's a decent file size not the best but you can get away with that and 150 filters you can read about this i'll link both their pricing plans in the description of this video so when it comes to trello or to do us which one do you choose well it all depends on what you're trying to achieve if you're a beginner and you're just getting started and you want to just keep things nice and simple then to do us is a great op option for you if you're a little bit more advanced in or ahead of the game in your task management workflow then you can go with trello and you can do some more advanced things so that was my video on trello versus to do us if you got some value out of this video don't forget to drop a like on this video that gives me feedback to know that i'm doing a good job and you want more of this if you have any thoughts regarding trello or to do us drop them in the comment section down below i read every single comment reply to most of them thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care